always leaks of uh, military information on their forums, like people like oh yeah, sending like uh, uh, Vinu, schematics of did tanks. Did you get and the names stuff. right? Nice yeah, on the did. left I and luck on the right. Yes. Okay. Yeah, continue. I'm actually curious about this. Well, they always have like uh, either schematics of tanks or some even new mm -hmm. ones and like some very uh, well the things that are illegal to actually post and they have it on forums sometimes so there's even joke about one to work on their forums having another military leak so so <laughs> yeah i could see that like there's a lot of nerds about that type of thing playing the game right and obviously military people surely enjoy it too sometimes so Oh, yeah, it makes sense, but it's crazy that games are playing that much of a role <laughs> in society now, you know? Uh, guys, games uh, aside, just see what's happening there. So, I, the guys actually fought that same matchup today in Dojo, and mm -hmm. Maestro won with Vera, but I think uh, like it was one of the first experiments of uh, Luck trying to fight Longsword, not with Barra, but with Jan, and mm -hmm. he definitely managed to adjust his style and see. Yeah, Maestro doesn't have an answer. Yep. Oh. Yeah, yeah that thrust he's is so high like commitment. He's, he's using so much sidewalking, just as I was telling Luck. And yeah, I guess he trained it enough, practiced enough in Dojo, and now he's doing mm -hmm. even better. That's really good to see. Oh, that was fast. I'll go with Isabella this time. Yendrick, really? Okay. Uh, so, that, that's another scene. In the previous Dojo game, like a week ago or so, uh, we had Maestro just went full of uh, Vinu style Yendrick, full swing against Isabella, and he completely crushed him. Nice. Sian uh, Clark's luck. You have been, but I think the train is over. I mean, we could get you against Heplo, but I cannot even tag Heplo. I'm not sure. His nickname is probably something different. Uh, maybe no, we could I we see get him. to more fights. I see him in Discord. Right. Could you tag him? Because I tried to tag him and I couldn't yeah, sure. tag him. Maybe he wants a second match as well, then we could uh, have a rapier. Uh, Maestro's too close. close, yeah. So maybe two more extra fights after the title fight, which is uh, nice not bad. Rest. We are kind of really ahead of schedule. It's fifth fight and we are on our... No, this is not even fifth fight. So one, two, three. This is the sixth fight and we are on our two, so it's nice. we're hour ahead, so that's very nice. Another thrust. I got the Mon Malone. Oh. You can Mon it later. <laughs> Mon Malone is not gonna disappear. Still gonna continue to grow and still gonna be there. But oh, what? Uh, just, <laughs> just passed him by. Yes, yeah, sidesteps are useful versus Yan too. Because his best attacks are pretty linear. Yeah, then as Sandrick you have to switch to sidestep attacks as well. Then it covers more oh, ground and it's nice. better. And that's to zero. And maybe today it's like lucky day to become a UFC champion. But uh, yeah, we'll see. He was like, oh, I'm always getting destroyed once I get two win streak. But here he goes. No, oh, Maestro Cake needs to go super soon now. If he wants that title. If not, then, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, here Maestro go goes with it. Because I coached Luck. <laughs> oh, you train them and now they become better than you. Oh, it's good. Good, good, that means you're a good well, trainer. That's, that's a different kind of fun, actually. It's, 
it's really good to see, like it's really a good feeling when you give some advice and then you see those other people taking that advice and implementing them properly. Like because every time, even though like you think you're advising something correct, it's not all uh, like there is always the possibility that the other person will somehow maybe get it wrong or like perceive it in some other way. Like it's hard to transfer what you want to transfer. It's not as easy to transfer information about a skill, you know? Mm -hmm. But then you see that someone takes it and uses it and maybe does it even better than you could have possibly imagined. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you start step again. My first problem often when he's caught with that is he either attacks uh, too oh. soon or he's at a measure. He didn't stop the after blow after the sidestep yeah. attack. Oh, he got him with the trick shot. No kill though. Nice to see that move functioning as it should, I think. You know, just as a way to sort of sneak around a little bit. Whoa! Oh, couple. <laughs> Damn. That corkscrew didn't really build up any momentum, but... Okay, that... Yeah, but... <laughs> okay. That's not the usual stuff when one character hits, he interrupts the animation of the second character and yeah. the character just goes fully without proper animation. Yeah, I was gonna say the corkscrew was kind of bored there, but then Luck just <laughs> did something even more bullshit. Not his fault, of course. He was doing an attack and that's what happened. That's not his fault. Yeah. But it's just funny. That's just the game being the game. Oh! Nice stamp. Risky move. Lock. Yeah, that would've been cool if it landed though. I, I like the idea behind it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Left arm was hit, so he was able to handle it. And no. his arrow was struck. I'm really glad that Luck managed to go past the Para versus Mixed Weapons instead of Jan and managed to adjust his main to face it in long sorts. Oh. GG, well played luck. That was mm. fucking fast. Master nice got whooped. Well, congrats luck and uh, time for Platypia. Uh, face you, or better to say for you to face Platypia for a champion's belt. And uh, Platypia, which side do you wanna play in?